Hi, I'm BMNG students. I just want to help you with question uh, 2.1 on your assignment. I've had quite a few queries um, regarding that VC online activity that you have to do. I'm just going to take you through it quickly for those of you who are interested. Um, first of all, um, I'm going to go into VC Learn. I'm going to go into BMNG. I'm going to go to Learning Units. I'm looking for six uh, activity 611, so I go down to Learning Unit 6. I'm going to click on activity 611. And you'll see here there's this little table that they want you to um, populate. And it'll be, uh, if you populate that table, it'll cover questions 2.1.1 and 2.1.2 which is a total of 20 marks, so it's well worth getting this right. How do you do it? You just go to the top, click to launch. Um, these instructions again, you're just going to click on a journal, create journal entry. I'm just going to call this, for example, management, or general management, because it's from chapter 6, which is your general management chapter. I then go and click in this area, uh, of my journal where I can type freely. Now, because they want me to recreate a table, the easiest thing to do is just to take my mouse over this little um, picture, which says insert and edit a table. You then have the option to set up how many columns I would like. So I'm going to say, for example, five columns and six rows and insert. And I get this really squashed up little table here, which is no good to me. So I'm just going to grab that center box, pull it over, and I can now see what I'm doing. If you want, you can even um, make this a little bit bigger if necessary. Right. So I'm going to just set the table up, and it's going to be exactly the same as they've given you. Um, I've got name, Jack. Um, Sarah, no, Evelyn, Sarah, and the last person is Ben, and then um, I've got, sorry, uh, let me just see. Job title, this is information that's given. Jack is the CEO. Evelyn is the HR manager. Sarah is the warehouse, you can write it out, I'm lazy, warehouse manager. And Ben is just a worker, he's a packer in fact. All right. All right, so now, two, three, four. Right, this is what you're going to have to complete. We've got level of management. We've got functional area. We've got key skills required. play. All right, so these 16 empty blocks here is what you're going to be completing to be awarded your 20 marks. The level of, uh, these are all, these all come from about page 185 to page 191 in your, in your book. There's also information on this on your learning units. So level of management, we are talking about that triangle you see in your books where we've got our top, middle, and lower level management. They're asking to see if you can understand where Jack, Evelyn, Sarah, and Ben fit in. When we talk about the functional areas, we're talking about um, where they fit in in terms of the organizational chart. Um, for example, Evelyn's the HR manager, where, which functional unit do you expect to find her in? 
a warehouse as part of what um, functional area. Um, so that's what I'm looking for. Jack doesn't fall under a specific functional area. He, he obviously is in charge of everything. So what would that be? Your answers are in your book. You can have a look at that. Uh, key, skill require, key skills required. I uh, think that's about page 189. There's a very nice table that shows you that there are th three key skills for these different levels. You have to look at Jack, Evelyn, Sarah, and Ben and decide which is their primary key skill that is required for them. All right, out of the three, the primary key skill. And then the last one the, is the role. It's, I think, about page 190, 191, where you've got a little uh, picture with three big circles, um, those showing you the different roles within the organization. Look at Jack, Evelyn, Sarah, and Ben and say, well, out of those three roles, where do they fit in? Which, which role do they fulfill? So once you have completed those four um, questions, um, you just need to go down. If you're busy and you want to come back, let's say you've decided you need to do a bit more research, you can save entry as draft here at the bottom. Um, I've done it before, don't worry about that. So there I've got something called management. Right, and if I ever want to come back in, I'll just click on the management and I can continue. But until you just move my screen down a bit but until such time as you post entry this thing has not been uploaded which means that you cannot get it marked it's going to reflect a zero oops i've picked up the wrong one sorry guys this is a previous one let me just cancel uh which is my latest one 958 this one Here we go. All right, so until such time as you've clicked on here, post entry, this thing is not uploaded, which means you're getting naught. All right. But now, you've also been told that you need to do a screenshot of this to get your marks. All right, you're not allowed to just upload it and do it electronically. So I will be checking it electronically, but I'm also going to be checking it in hard copy format. How do you do that? All right, so you're going to go down... And for those of you who've never used a snipping tool, I'm going to teach you. Move my screen a bit. Um, on your taskbar, you've got this thing that looks like a magnifying glass. Click on that, and you're just going to type snip. And when you type snip, this little snipping tool comes up. I'm going to click on snipping tool. All right, I'm going to click on the word new. I've already got something up, so don't worry. You're just going to click on the word new. All right. And you'll see that the background has grayed out. That means it's ready for you to snip. So I'm going to take my mouse and I'm going to just click and drag the area I want. It's now on my um, clipboard. I'm going to click on this copy button here. All right. And I need to put it into Word so that I can... Um, have it with my assignment. I'm going to open up a Word document. New document. Right, now I'm going to paste. Right, there it is. I can then save that or put it in or drop it in my rest of my assignment. It's now available to me in a Word format. All right. All right, so now, remember, click on Post Entry. And it's now gone for me to mark. All right. If you've got any questions on that, um, watch the video again. Alternatively, you can drop me an email. Okay, thanks, guys.